I'm Carly and this is... My name's Dick. Hi. And we are the owners of 666 and 662 Union Street and we've coined it the Union Street Eco Heritage Project. And it, it all started with um, us looking for a place to live in this community because we love Strathcona. It's Vancouver's um, oldest community. So we looked around in the area for something that would suit our needs and wants and we really couldn't find anything. And we knew that our city really needs urban density and responsible urban density. So, so we tried to align ourselves with uh, people who thought the same way. And we found an uh, architectural firm named Shaped Architecture who has been amazing to work with and they're very green focused. Um, and so we've decided to build five of the new units at Energuide 90 plus um, and we're going to renovate the two old buildings as well um, and bring them up to a very high energy, uh, energy efficiency level as well. And we're targeting LEED Platinum for the new build units yeah. which, which is aggressive, uh, but aggressive but we think we're going to be able to do it. Yeah. So. Hi, my name is Josh Klein. I work for Natural Balance Home Builders. Um, our team has been in business since 2008. We've been building environmentally sustainable homes from day one. Um, it was a bit of a challenge. We had to pick up the houses and move them to the back of the lot. Um, so the pile driver came into the lot uh, while the houses were moved back, drilled all of their piles every four feet. Um, we then dug out sections of the earth put wire mesh in there and shotcrete all of the uh, walls um, and then uh, we could finish digging out uh, the rest of the excavation. Uh, when the materials got here everything was installed uh, in units so that uh, the steel was already in, installed in, in most of the, the footings and the walls. Um, on, uh, on the east uh, building, we have an underground mechanical room, so what we had to do was uh, drop the elevation down four feet. Or, you know, the great thing about the, the bag footing is you can actually see as the concrete fills it up and, and worked out great. No blowouts, no problems, uh, zero lumber went into that, so it, it, it worked out very well. It, well. We've got exposed concrete that's uh, tying into our foundations throughout the front and the back and, and there's there's a lot of concrete. There's probably about 200 meters of concrete in this project. Yeah, I found some pretty good methods to tie in a traditional framed, um, you know, Burke system or a strip easy system into the ICF system. It uh, worked out really well. Yeah, these walls are definitely flat and straight. I'm yeah. We're standing beside a 10 foot wall and I can't see Yeah, you, so. wouldn't, you, you don't find wood frame walls that are that, bad, that, are that good, right? Yeah. I mean, the project is highly visible. We're on Vancouver's busiest commuter bike route. And so we get a ton of bike traffic, walk by traffic. It's a real walking neighborhood and community. So probably a couple dozen people at least a day. That's probably why stop. nothing ever gets done around here. <laughs> <laughs> they stop at the fence and they look and. And everybody's uh, taking photos. Everybody's excited uh, about yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, and I mean, it's impressive because the houses are suspended, but it's impressive because a lot of people don't aren't aware of the systems. We're even getting a lot of construction people who are in the trade coming by and talking about it because they. Uh, it's kind of cutting edge. Um, so they're talking to Josh and talking to me. I'm not giving them any answers, but they're getting a lot of answers. You know, the funny thing is, this ICF formicism has been around for like 20 years. Yeah. And um, it's just people just aren't, you know, you, you can't teach a dog old new tricks. An yeah. old dog new tricks. <laughs> <laughs> it, it applies with people in construction. I mean, people are just, they know what they know and they're not willing to. Uh, deviate from that so yeah. it's always nice to, to work with people who want to try new products and, and do something better. He's got us working on the weekends just to make sure that we, we hit it. So. <laughs> I have to. Yeah, exactly. How are you going to do it? Exactly. I agree. <laughs> uh, whatever it takes, right? Yeah. It's a team effort.